Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. All right, so let's jump right in. Four Virgos, Spirit Angels, guys. Regarding the person that Virgo is thinking about or connecting with at this time. Hmm. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Virgo, please, Spirit? What do we need to know? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Virgo? What are they thinking, feeling? When it comes to Virgo. Getting some strange energy. Oh, of course, the Ten of Swords. King of Pentacles. King of Cups. So we have Earth and Water energy here. Well, Virgo, when this person thinks about you, they're thinking about an ending of some sort. Bottom of the deck, the higher font, Taurus energy. I don't know if you and this person were married or in a commitment or if you're dealing with a Taurus specifically. Let's get some more energies out here. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Virgo. This ending was terrible. I was getting some weird energy when I was shuffling and it was like, a void like there was nothing there like someone might be feeling very empty lost like they don't know where to go what's up what's down and i think it's this ten of swords because it was d very difficult tell me more about this person's energies towards virgo what do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Virgo, what do we need to know about this person's energies? Okay, we have breathe in, pure seduction. Someone's really internalizing what they desire, what they are tempted by, what they lust after. Yeah, hidden motives. Someone's internalizing this or keeping this close to their chest. Um, I think this is your person. Your person has something that they desperately want or are attracted to or are driven by there's burning passion at the bottom of the deck but they are not this isn't happening out in the public out loud um what's the energy i'm getting here um nobody knows about this this is the simplest way to say that what else do we need to know what is this person thinking feeling about virgo What are they thinking, feeling about Virgo? What are they thinking, feeling? I feel you even though we are apart and I want you. Yeah, there's that desire again. So you're not with this person, Virgo, but they are desiring you, thinking about you, wanting you. This could be a very like physical connection. Okay, let's get some clarity with the tarot before I... Actually, I don't even need this. I'm going to get a couple more oracles down the line, but... Tell me about this Ten of Swords spirit. Tell me about this Ten... I really wish I would stop doing that with my cards. Page of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the Three of Wands. So after this ending, someone's thinking about the future. What is ahead? But also, for some reason, they're thinking about the past, too. Six of Cups. 
few ways to interpret this now with temperance temperance and the three of wands are telling me that something might be taking some time here or someone's being very patient not rushing things which contradicts the page of wands because the page of wands is very impulsive they just want to get out there they just want to start so i feel like this person's maybe like walking themselves back here or trying to remind themselves that things cannot be rushed that they need to be patient that they need to wait a little bit Tell me about this Three of Wands. Why is this Three of Wands here? Okay, sorry Virgo, my phone went off when I was about to pick these up, the three cards that fell. So, okay, let's continue. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and then Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this person, first of all, we have the King and Queen on here together. So some sort of pair partnership. I think this person, they definitely want to bring you something. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. Maybe a message that they want to send to you. But they're going to do it in the right time. Or when the time is right. Bottom of the deck. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's like a goal in mind. This person has a plan when it comes to you. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What do we need to know? about this king of pentacles what do we need to know mm, the high priestess yeah this is the person that you know your person is, is like strategically keeping this to themselves three of pentacles yeah they're working on this in secret there could be a third person here yeah nine of swords i think that they're too scared to like tell someone their real plan so they're keeping it in secret or they're planning or, or doing things in secret wheel of fortune i feel like there's something here with time like your person is thinking you know i need to that's not right i'm glad i looked at that before i shuffled it and like mixed up all my cards um for some reason your person's there's something here that like it has to be the right time It could be that there are outside um, factors here that your person's working around, but they're doing this deliberately. You know, I feel like maybe they're even hoping that all this effort will pay off with the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Yep, again, holding back, Four of Pentacles. Why is the King of Cups here? Ten of Wands, and then again, the Ace of Swords. So yeah, they have something to tell you that they've held back. What's this about? The Lovers, Four of Cups, Gemini Energy here. What's this about? Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. What's this message about for Virgo? Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person, they're telling, they're, I think, going to tell you that they desire you as a partner in some way. The lovers, maybe they recognize your soulmates. Maybe they are thinking that this is a very special connection. And they want to tell you that. But I feel like at the same time, there's something here about like being guarded, closed off with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands. This could be how your person's expecting you to be, or it could be that this person has not been able to go after you or go after what they truly want because they've been held back. You know, with the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, it's almost like someone has been in a difficult situation for some time and they've been through it, right? But they're not quite giving up or they're almost at the end of this difficulty. Regardless, their focus is to kind of just talk to you about this. So let's see what their intentions are with all of this. What are their intentions with Virgo? What are their intentions? With Virgo. What 
What are this person's intentions with Virgo spirit? Oh, interesting. So we have again the Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? I'm curious now. Why the Wheel of Fortune? Queen of Cups. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Death, Scorpio energy. Mm. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Emperor, Aries energy. There's an opportunity here tied to an ending for your person. It's like this uh, ending, change, transformation with death, maybe is even tied to this Eight of Cups walking away from something. It's going to allow them to take charge, take, get a handle on a situation. And I think it's um, regarding someone they care about, Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Fool. Okay, so yeah, they're worried about the risk this is going to... Um, require. It's like it's going to require them to take a risk and they're worried about it. Ah, the Devil. This could also be them having to be free of a difficult attachment of some sort. Capricorn energy. Yeah, this is them. They're they're trying to figure out how to make this happen. I think if, Virgo, if you've been dealing with someone who has been in a situation where they've told you they're going to get out of that situation and it hasn't happened yet, they're going to tell you why it hasn't happened. But deep down, they're working on it. It's just that I think between you and me. <laughs> I think that this person is hoping for a miracle, right? They're hoping for a miracle slash way out that has not presented itself yet. It's like they're hoping that they're going to be able to overcome this obstacle or not have to deal with this difficulty for very long, something like that. Um, it's really strange. I feel like whoever this is... They've been in this situation for some time, but it's like they're still waiting for the perfect time. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Six of Pentacles showed up earlier too. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Swords. There's the Ten of Swords again, and the Star, Aquarius energy. With the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like your person's scared because there there is going to be a difficult ending that is required. Like, it has to happen. This Ten of Swords, this Death card, it has to happen for you and this person to be together. This Eight of Cups as well. And it's like your person's, like, wishing or has a wish, a desire here. Um, that maybe they're not. it's not going to have to be as difficult. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, yeah. And in the meantime, all they can do is talk. They're not taking action. No, see, three of wands. They're not taking action. They're talking to you. They're probably planning things very well. Have their Excel sheet ready, you know, but it's not actually changing things or speeding things along. I'm also getting that um, this Wheel of Fortune is going to be like an opportunity that presents itself. And your person needs to be an emperor to grab it. Um, this opportunity will allow them to walk away, but your person needs to get out of their head. They need to get out of their head. They need to get out of this fear mode that they clearly are in with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me more for Virgo. I miss you. What else do we need to know? For Virgo. I'm taking a risk. Yeah, that's that they're gonna have to. I mean, I hate to say it, but if your person has been hoping that you know a risk is not required, or if they've been 
wishing for things to kind of be smoothly ironed out it's not going to happen it's not meant to happen that way some of you need to realize here that and i think you already are virgo to be honest um that words are not bringing you any closer together yeah change number nine that's what's needed there needs to be a change here enacted by this main male energy which i believe is this king of pentacles energy if you're listening to this and you're thinking of yes i'm in a third party situation yes my person has not left a third party they keep you know doing uh the third party has not shown up at all in this reading except for maybe this devil energy so what that tells me as a reader is that the problem is not the third party the problem is your person's approach to the third party how they're affected by the third party if they wanted to get rid of this third party situation they easily could have i don't see the third party as a block not for this particular individual what else what else for virgo can i get one more energy for this person's thoughts feelings when it comes to virgo thoughts, feelings. when it comes to virgo i want to make love to you again very physical energy um very like um you know the chemistry's hot um let me get the one a random one here. You have taught me so much. I'm not going to take this literally, or, although that could be the case. Some of you have taught this person secrets of love. Um, but I feel like this is more about your person understands the impact that you've had in their life. Um, they miss you they're not with you they wish they could be with you they want to be with you they have a strong attraction physical attraction towards you but you know this is what's needed the change is needed and the change can only happen by your person that's the block here that they need to overcome their own fears and their own like internal like issues i guess i should say when it comes to this problem because the problem is not other people not for this reading so that's what i have for you virgo hopefully you enjoy this reading uh, if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care